Hey there everybody, this is Arab Disaster here and I'm going to do a uh, tutorial on how to get audiobooks to your iPhone or iPod successfully through iTunes. Now I had kind of a problem with this when I first started, so uh, not a huge problem, but enough that if I would have had a video it would have helped. So um, it's kind of the same uh, type of video as my how to get limbo uh, in windowed mode on PC tutorial. Um, it's going to be kind of short, uh, it's going to be pretty much to the point. So first thing you want to do is, I have this problem where I download my, downloaded my audiobook files, which are right here. All these Harry Potter books. I like the Harry Potter books, so just don't diss on me. <laughs> and so, uh, what I do, and most, or what I originally did, and a lot of most people did, I looked it up on the internet, and a lot of people were having the same problem, is that they would just click and drag it like that into their music uh, library. And it wouldn't show up, but it wouldn't give you an error message either. Or they would do the thing where they go file, add file to library, or add folder to library, click on it add it and it would do the same thing it would just kinda like do nothing it wouldn't come up with you know like a error message or anything like that and then they must figure oh you know it's gotta be on there but then they look for it and they can't find it I couldn't find it and so I look for here you know type in I don't know Harry Potter here on the, the search list nothing so I uh, did a little bit more research and stuff and found that you know books it's in books now that makes sense but also it's not really a first thought, at least not for most people I noticed, because uh, it's an audiobook. Not, you don't read it off the screen, you just listen to it. So it would probably be more in some kind of audio category, but it's not. It's under books. Now, another thing with this is the way you get it to your uh, um, iPhone or your iPod is when you go to the devices. So you have your uh, iPod or iPhone or whatever, you know, uh, hooked up by USB to your computer, so you know it appears there, and you just click on it. You come up with all this stuff here, and this is the capacity and everything what you have on there. So you can go to books like this, and uh, don't need to click sync books unless you already have books on there. What you want to do is you want to scroll all the way to the bottom, and here it'll say sync audiobooks, like this. And you want to click that, and uh, I have these audiobooks here. And you can click all audiobooks, but I would not do that. I would do one at a time, considering. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone alone was like eight hours, uh, and that's a lot of audio file time. That's way more than like a, a bunch of songs combined, and songs take up a lot of space, and not well, kind of, but audiobooks take up a lot of space. So what I would do is I'd add one or two at a time, you know, and not have much more. So I'm almost done with Chamber of Secrets, and I'm going to start Prisoner of Azkaban soon. So I already added these, but I'm going to show you how to do it too. So, if you do that method, you just click all audiobooks. But if you're not, you just click selected audiobooks, and then go down and select the ones you want, and you know, it'll appear like this over here. And then, before you click sync down at the bottom right, you want to go back through these and make sure everything that you want to keep selected, uh, synced to your uh, iPod or iPhone, is there. Because otherwise, because usually, at least it did for me, it unchecked everything else when I checked add audiobooks. So you just want to go, kind of go in and double check and make sure. And uh, so I'm in books and audiobooks, and so I have everything that I want checked. And so what I just do is I just push sync, and then it kind of gets on with what it does. And now I'm going to go to my webcam video, and I'm going to show you uh, what to do and how to get it on your phone. Um, all right, so here I am, and uh, I have my phone pointed to webcam. You can't probably can't read it because the quality seems kind of crappy, to be honest. It's not the best webcam ever, but it will get the point across. I have turned my settings so you can't really see me. I, my room is actually perfectly lit, but I've had the exposure and everything down, so well, you can pretty much just see my phone, my phone screen. And so what you do is once it's synced, is you uh, what you could do is you could go to the App Store, like right here, if I can do it, there you go, and you could just get a um, an app, you know. Uh, if you search audiobooks in the search area, and uh, like this, except it doesn't say Harry Potter, it'll say audiobooks. You can download an app that uh, just reads audiobooks for you, like it'll go into your files in your phone, find it, and you can go off there. But I find that is I find that to be a waste of space, and the apps aren't necessarily as good as what comes already on it. So I'll show you how to get there. So what you want to do is from the home screen, is you want to click on your music button. Yep, music. And now there are my uh, my audiobooks. So you'll probably start out somewhere like just your basic music, your music list. And so from here, what you want to do is um, you just want to click more than the bottom right, audiobooks up here, 
And then there they are. So up here, you probably can read it a little bit. Up here, this is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, and this is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Now I'm reading Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets right now. Let me just click this and click pause really quick. Oh, see, there it goes. Uh, I'm on ch far chapter towards the end. I'm on chapter 17 out of 18. And so what you do is from the audiobook screen, is this little button up here, this white button there, square. Uh, it comes here, your main thing right here, your little interface. There's a play and pause button, and these little uh, little circular widget looking deals are rewind 15 seconds and fast forward 15 seconds. And what that does is that just is pretty self-explanatory. So say you just start reading the book or listening to the book and you have it in a while, you can push the reverse 15 seconds and it'll kind of give you another idea of where you were. Um, but I also like this app, or the, you know, the thing that comes with the Apple uh, product, too. You just click that, and boom, there comes all the chapters, which you can just click, and they'll start from the beginning. And it'll tell you how long they are. Now, this entire book is like eight hours, and so is the first one. So, yeah, so this is how you do it. Chapter 2, oh, see? Bobby's Warning. Harry see? So, that's how you do it. And, um, so now that all the mystery is cleared up, hopefully at least, I would like to thank you for watching, and if you like this video, then like it and, uh, subscribe to see more coming from me, everything helps if you comment or do whatever you can, and so, uh, if you watch this, like I said, thanks for watching, and more coming pretty soon.